It's World UFO Day. What are the odds that there are actually alien craft out there? Anthony here for D News, and the World UFO Day organization started celebrating in 2001. The aim of World UFO Day is to raise public awareness of what they call the undoubted existence of UFOs, and with that, intelligent beings from outer space. Huh. Undoubted. I don't know about that. UFO is the acronym the Air Force uses for any sort of unidentified flying object, but it's pretty much become synonymous with alien spacecraft. There are tons of UFO sightings on record going all the way back to Rome in 214 BC when there were reports of phantom ships gleaming in the sky. The most famous UFO sighting is the Roswell UFO incident in 1947 when an airborne object crashed on a ranch in New Mexico. And even though there are tons of theories about that object being extraterrestrial, the armed forces say that it was debris from a crashing weather balloon. And most UFOs turn out to be something along those lines. Weather balloons, airplane lights, meteors, things like that. But five to 10% of them never get identified. So are they alien craft? I mean, I suppose they could be. The universe is a big place. We've found about 900 exoplanets, which are planets that exist outside of our solar system, and according to the Planetary Habitability Laboratory, 12 of those are potentially habitable. There could certainly be life there already, but what are the odds that one of those planets not only has life on it, but an advanced civilization capable of space travel? So radio astronomer Frank Drake created an equation in 1961 to help people visualize how many other civilizations might be in our galaxy that we are capable of communicating with. Uh, it looks like this, and it takes into account things like the rate of formation of stars, the likelihood that those stars will have planets, whether those planets can support life, etc., etc. Some people have plugged numbers into the equation that say that there are probably 36.4 million civilizations out there to talk to. Others say that it comes out to zero. The government goes back and forth on the subject of extraterrestrial life as well. In 1948, a division of the Air Material Command called Project Sign was tasked with figuring out how likely it was that all these UFO sightings were alien craft. And their conclusion was, the phenomenon reported is something real and not visionary or fictitious. They even filed a detailed report of a UFO flying past an Eastern Airlines flight in view of the pilot and co-pilot, as well as the ground crew. The Air Force Chief of Staff at the time rejected the report for not having enough proof, and later the Air Force shut down Project Sign and spent the next decade debunking UFOs entirely. So what do you think? Are there alien craft out there? And if so, have they passed by us in plain sight? Let me know down below and tell me if you'll be watching this guys tonight for UFO Day.